What's up everybody? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here to make another video for you guys. Um, and uh, today I'm going to go a little bit into tube audio, something that we haven't ventured into. Um, what I say is for fun um, and solid state is for business. Um, what's ridiculous is, is the fact that I brush it off as for fun. I'm not really brushing it off at all. I'm just saying tubes are for fun. They're far too variable to use for any sort of uh, analytical or development of cables or tweaks or anything like that. You simply just can't use a tube. They change too much. Um, meaning from the time they're cold to the time they're warm, they have a completely different sound profile, um, as well as their age, how old they are. Plus, if you take one out and replace it with another one, it's going to sound totally different. So that is extremely aggravating for anybody that's doing anything other than just having fun. Okay, If you're having fun, you tube roll, try different tubes, it doesn't matter, it's okay. Um, in the tube realm, there is a uh, push-pull or just standard, you know, um, a push-pull vacuum tube arrangement, usually what most tube amps are, where they have a bank of tubes on one side, a bank of tubes on the other, and you use one bank of tubes to make half the wave and the other bank of tubes to make the other half of the sine wave. Um, and it's much more powerful that way. Um, the real purest method is called single-ended triode, okay? Those are the real rare tube amps that not many people really use, but they're extremely, it's kind of the upper end, if you will, of tube. It's kind of the creme de la creme, super purest thing to do is single-ended triode. That's because one tube makes the whole single analog sine wave instead of two tubes to make the wave where you have to hand off from one tube to the other through that wave, that handoff point, there's actually one point where it crosses from one tube to the other where there's no signal, where you're just, boop, it's neither this tube nor that tube because you're handing this tube off to that tube. That's called crossover distortion between the two tubes. With a single-ended triode, you don't get the crossover distortion um, because one tube makes the whole sine wave, okay? So in the realm of single-ended triode, as I talked about, we, we have now the stereo single-ended triode amp and the single-ended triode monoblock. Again, SET mono is going to be the highest kind of level you can get with a tube audio amplifier. Single-ended triode tube monoblock, okay? I have seven pairs of single-ended triode tube monoblocks, okay? These are not things that I have on loan from anybody. These are not things that, um, that I have... Uh, for sale. Um, I guess some of them you could probably buy from me, but I'm not listing them or trying to sell them. Um, so uh, let's go into the single-ended triode, which is the creme de la creme of tubes. Let me take you on a little journey through single-ended triode, and we'll start with my collection of single-ended triode tube monoblocks. And here we go. Here I've got an arrangement of single-ended triode tube monoblocks and we are going to start at the beginning, and I will go through these with you. Okay, so here is the um, most well-known tube for single-ended triode is the 300B. This is probably the most widely known single-ended triode tube, 300B. Beautiful tube, sounds lush. It has uh, extremely good resolution. Uh, the mid-range is to die for, um, and there's different types. Uh, and different brands, and you will get some that are okay, all the way to some that are absolutely glorious, depending on which brand you buy and if you know what you're doing. Um, this one here is a Sophia Royal Princess, very great sounding 300B. Um, and this goes into this amp here, my first one, which is a Canary Audio M80 tube monoblock. Okay, these are brand new, never even used them. I took them on trade and I still have them because I have other 300B amps that I like better. What we have here is we've got a driver tube, the 6SN7, which is used to drive this. We've got, um, we've got actually, we've got two 6SN7s. One of them is the input uh, preamp tube. The other is the driver tube. Um, and then this is a 5U4 rectifier. What I'm showing over here, the rectifier is actually part of the power supply. What I'm showing over here is here's the 5U4G made by Emission Labs. So it shows you the difference in build quality Okay, between a Chinese version, 5U4G, and a Czech, you know, version with a screen grid. I mean, it's, 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 uh, 
it's an it's just a beautiful and whether it's a grid or a plate you know whatever you want to slaughter me on that i don't care because i don't really give a shit the external parts which one is the grid which one is the plate which one is the cathode the anode all that shit it doesn't really matter to me the bottom line is i know which ones sound good and i know how to buy these things i know how to sell them um here is a variant of a 300b this is called a 300b xls okay so this is a beefier 300b 300b you can only get eight watts out of okay if you find something that is the 300b that has more than eight watts red flag they're doing something funky because this thing does not put out any more than eight watts now with this 300b xls i believe you can get 10 maybe 12 watts out of it and just look at the at, at, at the build uh how it's built I mean, this thing is is way more heavy duty than the Sophia, you know, and you can tell it, it has more slam, more punch. When you put this in, this will work in a standard 300B amp. It's going to give you no more power unless you design the amp around this tube for more power. But if you just plop it into a regular old 300B amp, you're going to get more slam and dynamic punch, just grip, than you will with the standard 300B, which is very flowy. This one has a little more muscle, a little more grip. Here's a variant of a 300B. This is called an 842. This is a KR audio tube, something that they make. I don't believe anybody else makes this. This is also from Czech Republic. And um, this tube is um, a variant of a 300B. This only works with their amps. You have to design an amp for this tube. But this is something that in this size, I think that you can put out up to 20 watts, maybe 18 watts, something like that out of this puppy. So it's, it's, it's a lot stronger. And these are found in the KR audio amplifiers. Um, and, um, you know what, um, you also, a, a little note, know when you're buying these things, if you are buying KR audio tubes, I've seen some jokers. There's a lot of, of dealers that just sell these tubes that don't know crap about tubes, but they get a dealership for these things. So make sure you know who you're buying from and that you buy from somebody that understands tubes because I've seen dealers out there that sell this crap and don't know a damn thing about tubes. They don't know how to sell you a tube. They don't know the difference between an 842 or an 805 or an 845 or an 811. They're not going to know the difference, okay? Because they're just plastering their website with a bunch of crap to make it seem like they know what they're doing, okay? So keep, um, keep aware of, of that, okay? As you're looking, if you're looking to buy single-ended or any sort of tube product make sure you buy from somebody that has a long history what you want to ask your dealer is how long have you been in business okay that's the key question how long have you been in business how long have you been in this industry okay because there's a lot of folks that just pop up out of the blue it's not hard to get a, a business license and become a dealer and this is a very specific science to sell somebody a vacuum tube amplifier especially a single-ended triode it has to be extremely well matched with the preamp with the um whatever analog source you're going to use if you want to keep it all analog or if you're going to have it be digital um and the speaker is extremely important with these um amps now i'm starting at 300B. There are smaller vacuum tubes that are single-ended triode, like the 2A3, like the um, the 100, the, 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 the triode, the, the, the tennis ball, what is it, the 110 or the, 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 the 45 triode. Um, these are all tubes that make three watts, okay? Personally, not that is super, that is a real pigeonhole, in my opinion, of listening style. You can really only listen one way with those kind of three watt amps. You have to have special speakers. Um, you can only, and, and it's really not going to have the same kind of dynamic punch, even as an eight watt. The difference between three watts and eight watts is like freaking a hundred times. You would not believe how much stronger a 300B is than a 2A3. Even though the number is not that much bigger, it's a huge difference. Okay. I've powered those speakers. Over there, you see those um, with 300B amps? Uh, those are pure audio project speakers. I've powered those with uh, 300B amps, and they're past the listening level. Eight watts in those speakers is, I can't even use all eight watts. I get out to about six, it's too, it's too loud, it's too much, okay? So now we're gonna go into a very interesting design here. This is a Western Electric 91A clone amp, okay? So this is modeled after the Western Electric 91A, which is a very famous uh, 300B design. And this one takes it into modern territory. We've got James Iron. We've got Hashimoto Iron. We've got a toroid as the power transformer. This thing slams. It absolutely slams. This amp is what I put with those uh, with those uh, Pure Audio projects. And man, I mean, I would do demos. People would lose their minds. And, and people say, 
there's no base and there's no uh, highs out of a 300B. That's like a typical regurgitated audiophile BS thing that you'll hear. Oh, 300Bs, they're great in the mid, but they got no highs and no lows. Man, I will... I've got one of my videos up that shows this playing dead mouse, this exact amp with those exact speakers, and it's crushing. It's so loud and it's so tough that, trust me, if you know how to build a 300B amp, it has highs and it has, um, and it has lows when you team it with the right speakers. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next amp. Now we're stepping up from 300B to something called in the 8 series of tubes. This is an 805, okay? An 805... Um, is this is from this is made in America? Okay, this is a new old stock from what says uh, this is probably from the 50s um, or something like that. This is a directly heated triode, which um, you put a filament on top or an electrode on top. You have a wire that comes up and feeds voltage through the top. Um, it's just a different way. It's an actually an older way of of heating this uh, the tube uh, for in, in giving it juice as as. It developed, the 805 developed into the 845, which I don't have in my hand. I've got some in the closet. The 845, you, you lost this nipple up top, and it all did it through the bottom where you got your voltages through there. You didn't need the extra wire coming up top. So anytime you see a vacuum tube with a wire coming up top, like this one too, here, it's directly heated. That's what that means with this wire coming up there with the cap on it. That's a directly heated tube. This okay. is the evolution of the 805. So the 805 went to 845. 845 tube went to the GM70, which is in here. Okay, so now, as you can see, this is a single GM70. This is, these are the same tube. This is just the evolution of this. So you can see, look how much bigger the plate got there. I mean, it's just a lot bigger. So I prefer GM70. Out of all the 8 series, GM70 is really my favorite um, for that type of application. Um, so this is, and, and you always know a single-ended triode when it has a single power tube, okay? Just one power tube. If it has two, it's either a push-pull, but the most purest approach is to have just one output tube. Now, even though this one over here, we see several tubes, this is the driver for this. This one has, I believe, a tr transistor driver for this tube. Um, because otherwise you'd see another little tube right here that drives this. It always needs something to do a first bump of the signal. The signal's really small. It needs a, a first tube to bump it up to the level that this one can pick it up. It's like this one goes, you have to get a running start, if you will. It's like a Kickstarter for this tube. So this is the kickstart for this tube, okay? And over there, we've got um, the SN7 as the kickstart for that 300B, okay? So now we come over here, we're gonna take it up one step. Now this is 20 watts, okay? Those first two were eight watts, eight watts. This is 20 watts of class A single-ended triode, okay? This next amp is 120 watts of class A single-ended triode. Now we go to a much larger tube. These tubes are used for radio transmission. You can see, I'll pull this off and pull this here off. These are our tubes that are used for radio transmission. Um, this is a big old 6C30 wow. for radio transmission. So um, this will put out 120 watts with these massive transformers. We'll put out 120 watts. We got a 6, 6H30 or, or a 6H, 6N1P is what's in there to drive this. Um, and that, that's the Kickstarter for this big tube, okay? This gives us 120 watts of pure Class A single-ended triode. Now we come to the big King Daddy. This is the largest single-ended triode in the world. When I say large, I'm talking about the tube. There is no bigger tube in any amplifier that I know of, okay? This makes 160 watts of pure Class A single-ended triode. This is an insane amplifier. This, there, there, I mean, I've never heard anything as real sounding as this, and it is absolutely, it's... It's an amazing sounding amplifier. It's the best, most real sounding amplifier, let me put it that way, that I've heard in my life, okay? Um, this uses a 6H, six, um, 6N6, six oh boy. Look at you guys, making me look this up. Um, it's a 6N6P, okay? That's what drives this, a 6N6P. It's a high gain triode that is gonna jumpstart this puppy and get her going. And man, there's nothing like this. Now, a tube like this that is Class A is hot. Okay, this thing glows like the sun and it will heat your room. Um, so my customers traditionally use these in the wintertime. 
um, or uh, or they're in, in, and a lot of them are in the northern northern states. Um, but there is nothing that sounds like this. This is the creme de la creme, best tube amp I've ever heard in my life, hands down. Okay, now that we've gotten through all of these, I want to show you one kind of novel thing. You see this guy? This thing has as much power as this whole amp right here. Okay, what this is here is this is a modern breakthrough. Okay, and I will go into this in a different video. But for now, I wanted to show you the single-ended triodes and what they are and kind of explain a little bit more about them and show you the different levels of single-ended triode. Okay, if you want to try this, it is a certain type of listening. Okay, um, and it requires efficient speakers. Okay, even these big ones work the best with efficient speakers. They just control them incredibly. But you can drive any speaker with this amp here from 1 ohm to 32 ohms. So anyways, um, I thought I would take the time to go through that. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. And I'll see you.